Hi guys, today a topic I'm going to show you the basic principles of balancing the DJI Ronin using our new Nikon D750. Now to balance the camera, we need to balance the tilt, roll and pan axis. So let's start off with trying to balance tilt. Now, also just remember, before you start balancing everything, just make sure your camera's got a battery in, you got your memory cards in, and you've got everything on the camera that you need on it. With some of the cameras, like the bigger DSLRs and the C300s or so, it's a good idea to strip the camera of all non-essential parts that you definitely won't be needing. Whereas with some lighter cameras, like the A7S, that is a really pain to balance on this rig, you actually need to add weight to it again. So you have to attach extra things to the little camera or to the base plate to try and get the weight right so you can balance it. So see if I let go of the rig at the moment, it sort of wants to fall forward. So to adjust that, what I do is loosen this quick release lever at the back and just slide the base plate forwards and backwards until it sits sort of level. Right. Don't get carried away with this process because at the end we're going to try and balance our vertical tilt by moving this up and down and then you'll find you probably have to readjust the tilt forward and backwards again on that balance. So here we go. Now we're going to try and balance the roll. See at the moment if I let go of the rig it wants to roll clockwise. So to adjust that I'm just going to slightly loosen these two levers and just slide the whole rig to the left. Now this is really sensitive as well so you'll find that sometimes moving it a millimeter will throw the balance out. So here we go that's sort of level at the moment. Let's tighten that down. Good. Now we get to the vertical tilt that we need to balance. That's basically when I point the camera up or down, it needs to stay in that position, it needs to be balanced. You see at the moment if I let go of it, it wants to swing down, so that means the whole rig is bottom heavy. And I need to move this whole platform up. That's easy, I just loosen the quick release levers to the side. Now the trickiest part is we need to just make sure that both sides are on the same height. If it's skew, you're going to struggle to balance the rig. And to check if it's balanced, all you do is just point it down. And if I let go of it, eh, there we go. It's supposed to be the same position. So I was kind of lucky. We got that balanced. And let's just double check the tilt now. See if I have it in the middle position. It wants to fall back, so it means it's a little bit heavy at the back. So let's move the plate forward. And you see now it's Fine tweaking. Get it in position. Well, there we go. Seems that the roll is slightly off. I'm just going to do a small minor adjustment there. Now the last fine tweak we have to do is we have to still balance our pan axis and in order to do that we're just going to have to move this arm forwards or backwards till we get it balanced. So how do we know if it's balanced? All you do is just lift up one side of the arm and if it swings around it means it's not balanced. It needs to resist your movement. So let's just loosen those and adjust it a little bit and see what happens. That's very close to balance. Move it a little bit back. See what happens. There we go. See it's resisting my movement, which is exactly what you're looking for. So let's just clamp that down. Good. So 
now that the rig is balanced and set up, we can actually continue to switch it on and adjust it with the DJI Assist app. To switch it on, all we do is just press down on the power button on the back for a second or two until it switches on. Let's get in the zero position and there we go. The rig is on at the moment and if something was wrong with the balance, you might find at this point that the rig will start to oscillate or vibrate making a really strange noise. If that happens, just as quickly as possible, switch off the battery and make sure the balance is right or that there's nothing loose on the rig, especially up there or down there as well or even the battery. Now I found with really light cameras it's difficult to balance the rig and one of the biggest problems is if we have to move this platform too high close to these motors the rig struggles to balance. So remember that. If this goes too high, you're going to have to make a plan. You have to add weight to the top of the rig somewhere or at the back of the camera or the top of the camera to just get the center of gravity a little bit lower on the rig to move it down. So remember that if you struggle to balance, that will be the first place to look. Is this too high or not? If it's too high, start again, add weight.